All right, so here we go. So, got my Elish DPE broken prank kids deck that pretty much can deal with anything. So, here's another display of that. So, I'm playing against Trap Tricks. So, I'm just gonna ash this card right here because I know that it can add stuff. So, my goal is to just try to stop him or at least slow down his momentum but it doesn't because he just continues to summon but he only summons one monster and then he ends his turn so maybe I did stop his momentum and then I'm gonna play prank his place and he plays trap trick so I know that his goal is gonna to be to try to remove this card off the field as soon as possible that is okay with me because I only needed it to get this card right here which the effect is already resolved so he's going to bring out some more trap tricks. And then he pops my prank kid's place. And he's kind of doing quite a bit on my turn. And so he goes into Fanzies right here. I mean, I go into Fanzies going to uh, Meow Meow Moo. Send pranks to the graveyard. Summon dropsies. And honestly, like, I'm going to freestyle this combo a little bit. Because all I really need is Rip Roar and Roaster. But I want to swarm the field as much as possible. And I want to make it hard for him to do any removal of my cards. Because I know that he's playing Trap Tricks. I want to make it difficult. So I want to get uh, Bow Wow Bark onto the field. And a lot of Prank Kids cards onto the field. So then that way he can't destroy them with his Trap Tricks. Once I activate the effects of Bow Wow Bark. So it's not really to get Battle Butler out onto the field because these cards are always going to be pretty weak. I know that the main effects of Trap Tricks are all back row stuff, but these cards are always pretty weak. So I'm not making um, many big misplays right here when I'm doing this. So I summon Rocket Ride. Of course, I'm going to get Bow Wow Bark and Doodle Doodle Doo. And Bow Wow Bark is just to protect me when I when I end my turn. Protect him from being able to get rid of all my cards by destroying them. So I tribute my Rip Roaring Roaster to wipe his back row before I start attacking. Summon a token. And then I'm going to tribute off these two. Now honestly right here I should have just got rid of my Pandemonium but I didn't want to pandemonium can help me continue to make plays so I just attack and then I'm going to summon Eldritch and then just lay pandemonium then I'm gonna send these cards back to my deck or back to the extra deck tribute off bow wow bark that'll protect these two monsters here and it'll also give me two more prank kids cards so Lampsies and prank his place. All right. So I know that using pandemonium to link some of these cards, I can put two more monsters out onto the field as well as weather washer. And weather washer has effects to be able to play on my opponent's turn and it can protect my prank kids monsters during the battle phase. So that's my goal here. And they're already protected from destruction from me tributing Bow Wow Bark. And then I'm going to use the effect of Weather Washer to bring more monsters back out onto the field. So I already had two coming back. And this will allow me to summon one more to just completely flood the field. And then I'm not going to get any effect of Fanzies because um, the field is completely flooded. So... You watch all this at the same time? All this at the same time? Hmm? You the same time. Huh? Don't watch all this at the same time. Alright, so he summons IP Masquerina. And then he goes in the Trap Tricks uh, Kalaria. And I know that when he summons IP Masquerina, it's going to be unaffected by card effects. Or, it, like, I can't destroy it by card effects, I mean. 
So right here, I know the effect of Crusadia Avermax. I know it doubles. I've tried to make a Crusadia deck before. Um, I just didn't have all the cards, all the ultra rares, so I know how this card functions. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get very smart on this guy. I am just going to simply make a card that's going to negate this card. It's going to negate its effects and that will allow me to attack it and destroy it because that's the only way I can really beat this card and since it activates its effects um, it doubles its attacks so it'll be really hard to beat over Crusadia Evermax the way that he set it up so I'm just gonna make totally awesome 10,000 IQ on this guy he thought he had me beat but he's a fucking moron so let's let's go ahead and make a monster that'll overpower this card so we're gonna put Rip Roaring Roaster right back out onto the field there we go so 3,000 beef stick burn them for 500 and then we're gonna bring out DPE by using Predator Plant Verde Anaconda if I'm not the smartest IQ player on the planet <laughs> so I'm just literally making DPE so I'll have a body on the field after this is over so I'll pop DPE right here so then that way he can't do anything crazy he can't send it back to my hand or anything like that and then I'm just going to send Eldritch and my um, Anaconda get that off the field because I don't want him attacking into it later on I only want what I want on the field and then I got my trap cards so I can lay those later and then I'm going to negate Crusadia Evermax <laughs> my IQ is so high on this game so I, I negate him with totally awesome so he can't raise the attack and then I just go ahead and attack him send totally awesome back to the extra deck pile and then I know that card is going to send uh, roast and roar or rip roar and roaster back to my extra deck and that is a-okay with me because now like I said before I'm going to have guardian come out and I'm going to have DPE also come back out on his turn by the way so when he summons something I can pop it I still have uh, conquistador over here and I still have solemn judgment so I can pop something I can solemn this card right here and then I can use conquistador as just an extra body he ends his turn because of course I've thinned out his deck leaving him with next to nothing I'm going to pop his back row so he can't do anything with it. Bring Eldritch back out onto the field. <laughs> so we bring out Eldritch. And then to just simply wrap this duel up as the perfect Eldritch DPE and prank kids deck, we summoned all three of the monsters, all three different bosses Eldritch, <laughs> Battle Butler, and. DPE all in one turn. Wow. GG motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> Good chance.